I am kind of house sitting a cat. Not really house sitting or babysitting, I guess. I just let him out in the morning and bring him back in in the afternoon. Archer's in the front, so I have to go and take him for a walk. Later this afternoon, I'll let Tigger, Tigger the cat I'm babysitting, cat sitting, I'll let him back into the house. Well, me and the doggle, me and Archer, are going to go for a little walk. I don't know how far we're going to get because Archer's wearing a fur coat and he usually quits on me. <laughs> if I can make him walk 30 minutes, then it'll be good. But in the summertime, after 30 minutes, sometimes I can get him to go to 45. He will just lay flat on the ground, more than likely in a puddle of water if he can find one. And he just gives up. I understand though. I mean, I don't think I could manage to go for a walk wearing a fur coat. That's just not something I think would be fun. But, um, <laughs> I'm holding a camera on top of a steering wheel. People are like, what's going on over here? It's, it's interesting how odd driving and video camera, this, this is probably on par with texting and driving. Oh my gosh. My mother is going to, she's going to chew me out if she sees this video. <laughs> Archer, are you ready to go to the park? I think he's done. <laughs> I think it's time to turn around and go back to the car so he doesn't so he doesn't pass out. Oh, nope. If he sees a squirrel, he's gonna chase it though. He is no longer tired. He has all the energy. <laughs> oh, oh. No. Look at that. A few seconds ago he was like so tired and now he just wants to chase squirrels. Yeah, he always has his second wind once he sees a few furry critters. This is his favorite part of the river walk because plenty of squirrel uh, squirrel places. <laughs> like this is the place where there are the most squirrels so he always gets really excited when going through here. <laughs> Something in his murderous little spirit wants to chase and kill all these squirrels. I think they call it prey drive. So he knows that this is where the squirrels are. And look at that. A few minutes ago he was dragging around and now he's like excited searching every tree with the murder on his mind. Ugh. This is my dog. <laughs> this is what he does when he is done and can't move another step. Fortunately he quit out on me right by the car, so I just have to convince him that he has enough energy to go to the car. <laughs> to the car. To the car. Good boy. <laughs> oh, me unlock. Oh no. He's give out again. Alright. In the car. In. Get in the car. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Archer. Come on. No. In the car. Come on. <laughs> All right. He's too tired. Everything is doing nicely. You guys remember these blueberries? Look at the size difference between the different varieties. To be fair, I did trim the two little ones a little bit. Okay, Archer, we're going. Hold on. But yeah. Look at the avocado. It's huge now. But, yeah. I'm really proud of my blueberries. My Cosmos are pretty nice, too. I stuck this up here to water it earlier. It needs to go back down. There. You can see that blueberry. It's still really little. need to harvest the basil. Isn't he a polite dog? <laughs> he's feeling a little bit more... Ugh. He's feeling a little better since we've gotten back and he's rested and had some water. Um, I wanted to get him to do his tricks for you, but... I don't know. I don't think he's up to it right now. But thanks for coming with us to the river walk. I guess not really coming with us, but watching us go to the w river walk. Anyway, thanks. Bye.